Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Jason Yamamoto. Uh, I know I haven't done this in a while. I mean, I could do this literally in every workout that I do. I mean, seriously. But uh, today's leg day. Today's November 8th, 2014. And today I'm doing leg day. Started off with some squats. I already did my warm-ups and everything. Uh, I'm doing 155 pounds, 5 sets, 10 reps each. That's actually a new PR because I've never gone in such volume and the same weight before and I've been practicing this one for a little bit so next time I'm doing it I'm moving up to 165 for 5 sets and 10 uh, reps. This one is 5 sets and 3 reps at 165 pounds and uh, definitely I like this training style a lot better than what I used to do. And I'm very appreciative because now I don't even use a weightlifting belt anymore. I will no longer use a weightlifting belt any longer. So I will concentrate on form and I will sacrifice weight for form. And I'll build myself up from there. That's how I feel about this new uh, training and philosophy. And I and I adopted from uh, other strength coaches um, that uh, definitely said that it would be very beneficial for me. Then I switched it up to uh, deadlifts, four sets of 10. Um, it's once 205 pounds, not a lot to some of you guys, but uh, I've been practicing on my form a lot more. I've been going scaling down on the weight, not caring so much about how much I lift, but how I lift. So definitely uh, it's a great experience, higher reps, lower weight and just moving up slowly hey man uh, I just want to make a big shout out to uh, George Lehman I was following some of your training philosophies and I applied it to my training style and I've been doing a lot of high reps um, it's been fixing my um, my postural integrity and um, definitely feel my exercise feel a lot better have more power more strength ever since I went back to uh, ground zero so definitely uh, check out my last set for my deadlift uh, today's leg day, so we're gonna uh, it right here. But uh, go ahead and check it out, alright? Power and strength, baby. See, uh, I want to make a big shout out to uh, Sebastian's uh, Fitness Solutions. Uh, one of his videos said that uh, leg extensions is not good, man. See that leg extension? And uh, this is what I'm doing, man. I'm at uh, 100 pounds. This one's my first set. And I gotta say, man, um, leg extension is really good for the legs if you're using manageable weight and you're performing the exercises correctly. Now, mind you, a lot of people have knee issues. Not everybody can do squats. Not everybody can do front lunges. Uh, the exercises that you uh, preferred, but if you can, it's really good to enhance the body's own natural uh, strength and natural uh, weight lift, uh, weightlifting belt, right? That, that very strong core that's gonna help stabilize the body. Now, for people who are, uh, you know, just getting um, out of an accident, leg extensions is really good for them to build up that initial strength. Now, it's not something that you want to do out of context. Now, if you're um, recovering, you want to, you don't want to go too heavy, or else you're going to find yourself um, injured again. Now, like I said, once you go on heavy, like on your heavy compound movements, and then go into the leg extensions. It would behoove you to go on a uh, to use lighter weights. Now, can I go heavier than 100 pounds? Yeah, man, I could, man. I really can, but I don't want to because I want to fuck up my knees. You want to be able to be uh, you want to be able to perform your exercises like you should be. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a video clip of um, how you would do it. Even though I mean it's very simple to do a leg extension, but believe it or not, a lot of people will fuck it up. So uh, here's the uh, clip. 
So here you go, man. 100 pounds, you know, rep for rep, nice and slow, nice and smooth. I don't say nice and slow, nice and smooth. And everybody should be doing this, man. You show me using so much heavy weights on every isolation movements. That doesn't really help build the muscle. Heavy compound uh, movements builds muscle. You know, when you're you know building the smaller smaller muscles, you should be always using lighter uh, lighter weights and higher reps. But anyways, man, I'm just pretty much in it all with some uh, calf raises. It's your boy Jason Yamamoto, and I'll talk to you guys later. Nice, nice. Breathe.